In the morning of March 14, the Gravoroy district of the Belgorod region of Russia opened fire from the territory of Ukraine. The Russian press reported on this. It is said that one of the shells fell into the forensic examination building. The population was warned to go to shelters. The governor of Belgorod region, Vyacheslav Gladkov, said that one person was injured as a result of the shooting. He also said that three cars were damaged and several houses were damaged. A warning was issued about the missile safety in the Belgorod area. The IT should be noted that on March 13, the Free Russian Legion, the Russian Volunteer Corps, and the Siberian Battalion, which are part of the Ukrainian army, warned that they would again enter the territory of Belgorod in course can conduct an operation. They demanded the provincial administration to evacuate the local population. Блин, что творится? Приехал, глянь, о, у, у Мантулева он, яма, блядь. Машины стекла повылетали. И в детской везде все окна побила. Окна вылетели. On the night of March 12, there was a drone attack on seven regions of Russia. This was reported by Russian telegram channels. Ukrainian drones hit Moscow, Korsk, Belgorod, Voronezh, Tula, Oryol and Nizhny Novgorod regions. Drones hit an oil base in the Oryol region and an oil refinery in Nizhny Novgorod. I in Nizhny Novgorod, an explosion and a strong fire occurred at the oil refinery owned by Lukoil in one of the country's largest oil refineries. 
The plant has temporarily stopped its activity. In Belgorod region, seven settlements were left without electricity. Losses are not reported. Прям через дорогу практически ебануло сейчас. Хуй знает, что непонятно. Вроде тихо было, не беспилотно. Ну, горит пиздец. Видно, нахуй, все, как на лутон. В общем, ё-моё.